Vitamin D can lower your cancer risk unless you're obese. Very interesting new study. It was actually last November, 25,000 people over five years. And they found that if you have enough vitamin D, there's a 20% less chance of developing cancer unless you are obese. Now we'll get into the why, but if you read further, they also compared people that were overweight versus normal weight. So if you're not overweight and you have enough vitamin D, you have a 38% less chance of developing cancer. Fascinating. And this is only using 2000 international units of vitamin D per day. Now I recommend a lot more, minimally 10,000 I use, and, and it'd be interesting to see if they studied that point. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna circle back to that the reasoning behind that. But the question is, why did they see no benefit in the obese? Well, it has to do with vitamin D resistance. The more overweight you are, the more resistance to vitamin D you become. In fact, the more insulin resistant you're gonna become as well. And there's definitely a connection between insulin and vitamin D, which is in another video. But the point is that if you're overweight, that vitamin D is a hard time getting in your body. And this also explains why people that get enough sun, like in Saudi Arabia, for example, they're deficient, especially if they're obese or overweight. Now, obesity is linked with chronic low-grade inflammation, and cancer tends to exist when there's more inflammation. It tends to spread in areas of inflammation. There's a high correlation with people with inflammation and cancer. Also, when you're obese, you have systemic dysfunction of the natural killer cells. That's part of the immune system that actually does two things. One, it fights viruses, and the other thing, it kills tumors. And so if you're not having the full capacity of your immune system and you're getting inflammation, not a good combination to avoid cancer. Now let's circle back to the quantities of vitamin D. And this is why I recommend minimally 10,000 I use, sometimes 20, sometimes 30, sometimes 40, sometimes more. And especially for those people who have metabolic problems and they're overweight, they just need more vitamin D. Now, if you combine that with also being older and having darker skin, all these are factors that inhibit your ability to absorb vitamin D. So what is the solution? Well, to cope with this problem, I would recommend taking more than 2,000 IUs of vitamin D. I would take minimally 10,000 IUs of vitamin D3. And I would also recommend going on healthy keto and intermittent fasting. I put a, a link down below of our new plan. It's a free plan. You can check it out, which will not only decrease your risk for getting cancer, but also help you absorb vitamin D and avoid a lot of other problems that occur with a vitamin D deficiency. But vitamin D inhibits tumors. It actually decreases the spread of cancer. And also it decreases angiogenesis, which is the formation of new blood vessels that go into a tumor and feed it. So as you can see, vitamin D is extremely important in many different things, including decreasing your risk for cancer. Before you go real quick, I have a course entitled How to Bulletproof your immune system. It's a free course. I want you to take it. And here's why. Here's you. Here is your environment. Everyone is focused on this over here, avoiding your environment. But what about here? What about strengthening your immune system? That's what's missing. This course will show you how to bulletproof yourself. And so you can tolerate and resist your environment much better by strengthening your own immune system. I put a link down in the description right down below. Check it out and get signed up today. Hey, before